Hello, welcome to solve this equation, which is m the power of n, which is equal to m the power n is the power of m. Find the value of m and n, where m must be different from n. So let's go to the solution. We have problem, which is m power of n, which is equal to n power of m. So from here, since m and n are different numbers, but if m which is equal to n, all pairs must may will be the solution. So now all we have to do is express m in terms of n or vice versa. So let's express m n in terms of m. Express n in terms of m so let's say n which is equal to k times m so where k is an integer so let's substitute so m power of k times m which is equal to k m power of m so let's take square root on both sides so m power of k times m which is equal to k times m power of m so let's take square root on both sides of the equation. So this means m power of k times m power of 1 over 2, which is equal to k m power m power of 1 over 2. So it will be m power of k m over 2 which is equal to k times m power of m over 2 so using a rule of exponent we know that a power of m times n is equal to a to the power of n power of m so by using this rule you can rewrite m power of k power of m over 2 which is equal to k times m power of m over 2 now let's multiply the exponent by t over m so m power of k power of m over 2 times 2 over m which is equal to k times m power of m over 2 times 2 over m so this will be cancelled and this will be cancelled so we have m power of k which is equal to k times n now let's divide both sides by m so by m by m finally we do have k which is equal to m power of k over m So this will be, this can be written as m power of k times m power of minus 1. So finally, k which is equal to m, since we have the same base, we can sum up the exponent. So m power of k minus 1. Now we do have k. Uh, which is equal to m power of k minus 1 let's multiply 
the exponent by 1 over k so k which is equal to m power of k minus 1 so let's multiply by 1 over k minus 1 1 over k minus 1 so m will be k which is power of 1 minus k minus 1 this is the value of m but k must be different from 1 so n will be so we know that n which is equal to k times m so n will be k times m is 1 k power of 1 over k minus 1 so let's sum up k power of 1 times k power of 1 over k minus 1 so finally n is equal to k power of 1 plus 1 over k minus 1 which is equal to k power of k minus 1 plus 1 divided by k minus 1 so finally we have n which is equal to k power of k over k minus 1 so finally we have solution of m which is equal to 1 k power of 1 over k minus 1 and n which is equal to k power of k over k minus 1 but k must be different from 1 so in order to find the numerical value of m and n you can substitute any value of k but which is different from 1 and you can check whether the solution is correct or not thank you very much for watching have a nice time bye bye